Mr Speaker, uh, levels in, of violence in our prison remain too high. But I am pleased to say that we are on a downward trend in relation to assaults. Assaults on staff in January to March of this year decreased by 5% from the free previous quarter, and in the latest quarter, the number of assaults on staff decreased by a further 4%. Decreases have been seen across the public and the private estate. We have also seen a net rise of almost 4,000 banned three to five prison officers since 2016. We do not hold figures for the number of staff at private prisons as we measure performance in a different way. Graham Morris. Uh, I thank the Minister for that response, and I had hoped that even this Government would accept the link between prison understaffing and high levels of violence. But my question is this why, why is this Government building a new generation? of private prisons that will have no minimum staffing levels and no requirements for private operators to reveal staff numbers. They are not subject to FOIs. Quite frankly, this is an appalling policy of don't ask me any questions and I won't tell you any lies. Uh, Mr Speaker, as I mentioned, uh, we have increased the number of uh, staff within the uh, public sector. We have also introduced the key worker scheme, which is essential for staff to liaise uh, with, uh, with, the, the, with, with the prisoners. In relation to the private prisons, uh, private prisons perform well, as do public prisons. Uh, recent reports this year for HMIP uh, Park and Rye Hill, uh, uh, which uh, are both managed by G4S, were both judged as good. Uh, there is not a, a, a mantra that uh, public is good, private is bad, both work well. Rob Butler. 